to you from the Ruloff Family Inc. <clears throat> studios. Bueller and Dodge ready to break you off. Some MMA news. Big thanks to our sponsors, strongboardbalance.com. Change the way you work out. Get on board, strongboard balance. Dropping the squid Could you drop it like it's hot, like a squidward <laughs> on the strongboard? <laughs> That's no, a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Yeah, Way no. too many words. All right, so what's your workout this week, man? Uh, I've done nothing with it this All week. All right. What? Yeah. All right. I'm the, you know what? I'm not going to do to you what you used to do to me. You can. No, I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Strong board balance. Do we have another one? Can I take one home? Have you been doing your 22s? You need to take one home? I've been doing 22s. I'll, I'll call just, one. Look at I this, haven't posted though. Though. All right. This guy's been doing push ups, so you can tell. Oh. Look at this. Woo! I need, I need, to, get, I need yeah. to get mine back. I've been doing them in the spray booth, but I don't know if you see my videos, but getting it on the spray booth, dude. I'm a maniac. The spray tan booth? No, <laughs> spray booth. I pay, I'm a painter, so. A painter. Ah, there you That's go. Doing. Uh, strongboardbalance.com. Check out their Instagram. You can win one from them as well. And my MMA News. Dot com. Go give them some love. They do this 24-7. We do it once a week so you can get breaking news from them. And a big shout out to the SFLC podcast. Uh, they got their, their their hoodies before we did. So they win the, they win the Thanks, game. Thanks, Eric. They win. You guys <laughs> are the winners. We're all the way over. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to defend them, man. We're on the West Coast. Yeah. It's, it takes a long time to mail stuff here. Unless you put it in three envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> we get a box. <laughs> the SFLC podcast, once again, they, they put guests on their show. We get interviews every once in a while, but they get guests all the time. So totally yeah. worth checking out so you can get the, uh, the fighter's perspective on a lot of things. And a big thanks to them for our shout out as well. Yeah, uh, and you're going you're gonna to get to hear some guys before they're, they're big. And you're going you know, to get to hear the whole story. And not this just chopped up stuff that we get a lot of the time once somebody makes it big. I mean, and then some of these guys you might not hear from ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they got good stories, man. I'm telling you, the stories you hear on this show, is, it, it's pretty good. It's the way of the world. Yeah. Uh, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter, SD underscore MMA, or Split Decision MMA podcast on Facebook, and our website, SplitDecisionMMA.com, and anywhere podcasts are broadcast. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in with Burt Watson. Rolling! Rolling! <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, he is now going to be a board member and director of fighter relations for Alliance MMA. Good job, Bert Watson, good. man. Getting another job. Way to go, Bert. Getting in there. And that's a good job for him because he that's knows. What he was before. Well, well, I'm just saying, but you know he's got people under him, and he's like, do you make, you make sure that this take care? You got that take care? <laughs> what about this? You got that? All right, good. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got a bunch of little things happening uh, across the board in MMA as far as people getting it's out a, of fights. It's a crazy week for, for making weight. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, we had uh, on the belt recorder that's happening, was that tonight? Tonight. Right, tonight. Uh, <clears throat> not one, not two, Talita not three, Noguera but four. <clears throat> did not make weight um, with her bout against Marlous Conan, so that co-main event has been canceled. Oh, okay. completely canceled? Completely canceled. Wow. Then... Paul Daly uh, made weight, but then his bout was scrapped also because he fell ill after his weight oh, cut. His, so he fell ill. Because I also read something earlier that the doctor looked at his face. It was the doctor's decision. It was the doctor's right. decision. The doctor's decision. Okay. What's wrong with they, your face, bro? <laughs> Something's wrong with your face. Uh, because they said just basically he was un, unfit to fight. What if he was like non-responsive or something? And then on the bill of tonight, there's four catchweight fights as Four well. catchweight fights, which I haven't been able to find if any of these people missed weight or if these were planned catchweight fights. I don't know. 192 is a weird catchweight. Yeah, 195, 160, 175, like... It's like, what'd you come in at? Yeah. That's what we'll fight at. That's what you're fighting at. There you go. That's happening. Bellator does not give it a I'm going, fuck I'm anymore. Gonna go, I'm going to go to Togo's. I'm going to gain weight to fight you. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, I mean, you want to talk about another one here. We have uh, on the, the UFC card that's going down tomorrow... Uh, Charles Oliveira, Dude, Bronx. who was supposed to be fighting at 145, this is your boy, came in at 155, did a full just... weight class above. <laughs> did he misread his contract? Maybe. I don't know. And so they decided to make this a catch weight at 155 with the stipulation he can't come in over 165 on no. fight night. What I read was he has to weigh 165 three hours before the fight. Yeah, well, on fight night. Yeah, so they're not going to weigh him like right before he no, walks no, no, out. No. Okay. Yeah, so still 165. I mean, you know, he's not allowed to gain much weight back. Uh, and he also had to give 20% to Ricardo Lamas. We'll get to that fight card here in a little bit. Uh, Luke Rockhold is out of his God fight damn it. with Jacare at UFC Fight Night 101. Uh, I guess he injured. He, he's injured. Another the, knee injury. Another knee injury. It's yeah, the AKA yeah. curse, man. So, unfortunately, that And fight, there's rumors, and I don't know if it's out, that somebody's saying Cormier is hurt again. I don't know how long till we're going to hear about it. That'd be pretty bad, too. That's a rumor. Uh, and then... Uh, Michael Bisping, just, over the course like of the... Earlier today, I think. Over yeah. the course of the, the past couple weeks, obviously he called out GSP. He wanted to fight him at UFC 206. Um, 
GSP obviously said that's not going to happen. Then he called out Nick Diaz um, because he just he's looking for a fight. Uh, once Rockhold got injured, Jacques Array's team called Bisbing and said, let's fight for the title. I'm just, I'm just next in line anyway, basically. Right. Uh, and Bisbing said no. And he said, everyone at home is going to say, didn't you call just GSP a couple weeks ago? Yes, I did. But let's think about this. That was a massive payday, roughly 3 to $4 million I would have earned. Bitch. Jacques Array, I'm not going to get around a quarter. He says, as all of you know, I fought Dan Henderson very recently. He says... Uh, you got beat up by Dan Henderson very recently. <laughs> I'm looking for the Daniel Cormier rumor to see if I can find it. And I found fucking Du Bronx's Instagram where he was at McDonald's grubbing like a motherfucker. <laughs> like two days ago. Dude, you weren't even trying, Du Bronx. He's got like three Big Macs in front of him. Bisbee says, as all you know, I fought Dan Henderson very recently. I fractured an orbital. Uh, I was getting uh, PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma injections. I don't know what they are, but that sounds fancy. I'm getting them on Friday in my leg. I'm limping around all over the place. I have also have a fractured orbital. Um, I've never ducked anybody in my life. You can't say that anymore. <laughs> he said... He, um, he didn't duck Anderson. He said, Yol and Weidman. <laughs> he said, Yol, Yol and Weidman, they're fighting. He's all, whoever wins that, either that or Jacare will be my next fight. Make no mistake. But I'm not going to do it in a few weeks. My name is not... Short Camp Sally, it's Michael the Count Bisping, <laughs> uh, UFC middleweight champion of the world. You will get it, Jacare, and you will get you will get it as well. Yol R Weidman and Rockhold, all of you make no mistake. So basically, he was saying he would fight GSP in December, but he's not willing to fight anybody in November because okay. he wants to get through his fractured orbital. He wants to get through his uh, injections that he's getting. After that, well, I mean, it's a month difference. I, I can't a month difference. I, I can give him that. So he's not saying he's ducking Jacare. He will take Jacare's fight if he wants to fight at UFC maybe two hundred six. He's just not going to fight him to save this at Fight Night one hundred one. I can't blame him if you got a fractured orbital. I mean, that, that just yeah, sounds I mean, like a terrible is idea. Is the fractured orbital when they fix it? Is it going to fix his eye? No, no. But this is what <laughs> like the thing, like, no, the no. thing I, I'm thinking of is if he would have fought and he would have lost, he would have used them all of his as excuses. Oh, I'm getting these injections. Yeah, I got a crushed orbital. My eyes been like you know, this. But I took the four point. I, I took the four point three million dollars though. Is the I did do that. Is the crushed orbital on the same side as the wa the walleye? <laughs> that's what I'm curious about. <laughs> Dude, that's the biggest halibut I ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, if you check out the new Triple uh, X uh, Return of Xander Cage trailer, you can see a little quick brief shot of Michael Bisbing. He's in that movie. Oh, is he? Yeah. Connor was supposed to be in it, right? But he pulled out? Yeah, instead he did Call of Duty. He voiced it? Or? He voiced okay. it and did, and did uh, I think, screen capturing Call of Duty. Uh, a couple more fighters that have been removed from fights. Mathanius Nicolau is out of UFC Fight Night 100 due to a potential anti-doping violation. I wish they'd stop pulling people for potential. Like, pull them when it's for sure. Well, they obviously have tested positive for something, but until the hearing and everything goes no. through, it's potential. Okay. Before they give them a fine and they give them some sort of... Uh, Unless your name's Lesnar. Then we let it roll. As far as possible. <laughs> yeah, as far as possible. And then, we'll, then we'll talk about it after. Tom Lawler has also been flagged for potential anti-doping violation due to an out-of-competition test. What? Uh, so, filthy fun. Tom Lawler is filthy. <laughs> Uh, they don't call me filthy for nothing, baby. As well as Guido Cantonetti is pulled out of his Ultimate Fight Night 98. Jesus Christ. Due to a flag test. Uh, so that's three fighters right there that are pulling out due to the flag test. Stop eating kangaroo meat, guys. <laughs> um, and then we have Fabrizio Radum. I don't know if you guys saw this. I think we talked about it a little bit. He, he put up a Photoshop picture of a Reebok, him and his Reebok gear with a Nike logo photoshopped over because he says he's Nike for life. Um, he doesn't care about Reebok. Uh, in fact, he actually wrote Chupa Mihovos Reebok, which means suck my balls Reebok. Well, technically it's eggs. <laughs> it's slang. Come on. I know. We have slang that means other things, too. Um, and then... Chupa Mihovos Reebok. <laughs> um, Such a fucking profound statement. Uh, he then... Just sounds, I can hear Cartman saying it. How would you like to suck my balls? Nick oh, Garrison. Hey, suck my balls. Suck my Reebok. balls, Reebok. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some cheesy puffs. Um, he has then now been pulled as a fight analyst and color commentator from the Spanish language UFC broadcast due to pressure from Reebok. So any of the fights he wasn't in, he was the commentator and Spanish language uh, fight analyst. So he was basically sitting off the side, like in WWE, how they have the, you know, the... Spanish announce table that always, always gets, gets broken smashed. and they have yeah. to sit there with just chairs and watch the whole rest of the match. <laughs> like, usually, like, the second match. That was for Doom, but for the UFC. 
<laughs> Sitting there just on a chair with no table. Um, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes after they smash the table, then they would take the chairs away from the announcers and use them to beat each other. <laughs> they with. have to stand there the rest of the fight or sit on the ground, <laughs> which is just hilarious. Ground. Sitting there in their little suits. <laughs> <That's> sad. <laughs> I mean, it's better than, I guess, like, you always see the French announce table for, like, the big events, like, all the way in the back, and they're just like, yep, we're watching the event here with all the fans. <laughs> so they can quit and run away quicker. <laughs> so he's been pulled from his uh, duties. He Silliness. says, I won't go back after this. He said, it's the second time this has happened. He goes, I didn't go film in Columbia once before my wife had, uh, she had a fever. Then I was on vacation. They didn't understand me. They took me off the broadcast. I asked Dana White, put me back on. He was, or uh, he did then. Uh, but now because of this post, he's like, I'm not going back. I don't have anything with Reebok, only during the fight. They can do anything. Um, the, the post, you lose your job as a commentator. He's like, I lost it because I was, was I doing a poor job? Nobody likes me. I can understand that, but that was not the case. Um, I know I was doing a good job and getting the messages for all the Latin America saying that. Uh, I've already seen messages saying they're going to cancel their channel now. There's been no statement from the UFC or Reebok. Didn't Goldberg lose his NFL job? It's because he Cause, sucked. Well, nobody liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that? Wasn't it was? Yeah. One game, right? I think he did two. I thought it was NHL. No, he, no. he originally started as NHL. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can't mess up in NHL. You could be <laughs> drunk and do it. He played hockey. Have you seen his teeth? You can take him out, <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. Dan Henderson. Yeah, you, you could be completely blitzed and do hockey. <laughs> People like, woo! Uh, and he, he dissected him and... <laughs> Hit the, he hit him with the thing. <laughs> Where's the fucking puck? I had no idea. <laughs> Put oh. the foil on now, coach. Icing. <laughs> Speaking of icing, get your double fudge icing. Yeah. Virtually identical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another fight we have a fight announced. TJ Dillashaw will be going up against John Lineker. Uh, UFC 207. You excited about that? December 30th. I don't know if I'm excited New about... E New Year's Eve card. Dillashaw versus Lineker. Okay. No? I, I, I don't know. I mean, since Dominic Cruz is going to be fighting Cody Garbrandt. I, I didn't realize that Lineker was number two. So yeah. that, that's surprising to me. I thought maybe uh, Garbrandt or somebody else would be up a little bit higher. But Garbrandt's number six. Okay. Because um, I know Dillashaw just wants to destroy everybody in that division now. He's pissed. He's very upset. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I just want to see Dillashaw fight. Okay. If, he, if he's really on this rage... Mission that he's on. I want to see that happen in the cage. Against Lineker is going to be a tough fight, too, because he's got some dynamite in his hands. Oh, for seen. sure. We have definitely seen. Because he wants to fight Cruz, but Cruz is like, nah. Meh. I already took your title from me. I already beat you. Let's go yeah, with somebody else. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Ronda Rousey recently was on the Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres show. Said her MMA career is winding down. Uh, TMZ reached out to Dana White, and he says, look, he says, I don't want to take the wind out of her sails. Let her say her own stuff. Obviously, I know what's going on with her, but yeah. I think it's definitely a winding down. This is something that you've been talking about for ever. Yeah. I, that seems like nobody's paid attention to. That it's, she said she was only going to have a certain amount of fights and she's going to move on to something else. Yeah. yeah. You were the one to bring that up. Right. It's it's, it's just how she does everything. I everything. Don't, I just don't understand why she's even coming back, though. She should, like... To get her title. But she's not... To shut, a, to shut a certain group of people up. Yep. Here's the thing, though, is that if you're already quitting in your head, then you're done. In this game, you can't do that. I... I don't know if she's necessarily quitting, quitting. You know what I mean? Like I said, I think she knows what she's going to do. She wants to get her title, and then she's done. She went to the Olympics. She got the bronze. She said she got her medal. She was done. Did she go for gold again? No, because she was already done. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but said, she already had the title. It's, so. in, it's in cycles. You know, she only wants right. to do this. So so, she, but she already had the title, so why come back? In my, to prove everybody wrong? I think she's going to get her ass to kicked. To leave with the belt. I yeah. don't think that's going to happen. I think she's going to get her ass kicked. Are it's you like, serious? Like Dan Henderson said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come get the belt and I'm going to retire. Man. He didn't get the belt and he retired. I, I don't know. I think Ronda Rousey's going to get her ass handed to her and then she's going to quit. I'm saying she finishes noon in less than a minute. No okay. way All that right. happens. Dude. No way. I'm already going to owe him 10 bucks when she bet walks Bet on it. Cage. I want to see it. Do it. But I'll, I will, <laughs> bet on it. I will bet Do you it. as well. Shake like it. what? Shake it. Well, hands, please. I'll, I'll bet you 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks. Inside the first minute. Inside the first minute. Oh, yeah. that's they, you, He'll be paying you the 10 bucks that I owe you already. <laughs> no, 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 no. You owe me that money first the minute she walks into the cage. <laughs> right. But then when, after 60 seconds. <laughs> There's a minute in question. There's a minute in question, <laughs> after, sir. After 60 seconds, <laughs> I'll just step out of the way and you guys can exchange cash. <laughs> I remember how I told you I'll pay you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking his pennies. That's bullshit. <laughs> are they are they ass pennies? <laughs> I, do, I do work in bathrooms. <laughs> Just start collecting them. Over the years, I've had about $273 in pennies run through my ass. <laughs> Everyone here has touched my ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't shop locally without getting my, getting my ass pennies in return. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Jose Aldo's coach stories. Jose Aldo's coach says he's not leaving the UFC bout. He just wants a unification fight in February or March. So he's finally fucking calmed his tits a little bit. A little bit. He says he wants to do other things. We in the conversations we've had with him, he's made it very clear they're not going to let him do that. There's nothing we can do. We have to fight. He, if he goes back to fight, he only fights to unify the title, independent of who it is. Aldo will accept no other fight unless it's to unify the title. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Need us, yeah. Well, good. I'm glad that he's not leaving because I don't. I didn't want him to leave. I understood his frustration. So, what if he goes back though, unification title bout, wins it, and then he retires anyway because he's like, I told you, I'm only coming back to fucking get the fuck out of here. And and then know. so then another one, another one that's coming back just to leave. That would be disappointing. No, I don't want him to do that because just because I don't think we got enough Aldo in the amount of time that he's been here because he's injured half the time, you know. Oh well. Another fighter that's talking about leaving. Tim Kennedy says this may be the last chance you see him fight at UFC 205. And he said this fight's a wash for him financially. Yeah, he said uh, chances of returning are 50-50 because he's making good money uh, doing Hunting Hitler TV show. Mm. Uh, as well as doing movies. Uh, remember he started in that, uh, what was it, like Range 15 or something yeah, like that yeah. uh, movie? He said they made good money doing that. Um, he would probably be an amazing Hollywood consultant when it comes to like fighting and and like war scenes and shit too. For and sure. remember, he's still on the run from ISIS. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Through all this, he's still being targeted by ISIS. Do you think he cares? Yeah, maybe a little. Maybe a little. He's probably got like he's got like a daily check, you know. Because you said guess what stories he goes into. Is there still ISIS still there? Yeah, ISIS is still there. Oh, did you see that? That was a puck change. That was awesome. Beautiful. Oh, why'd you point it out? It would have been seamless. Radio's honest. It would have been seamless. <laughs> Tim Kennedy does fight Rashad Evans at two oh five. We got in that fight, guys. <laughs> I'm always a big fan of Kennedy, man. Yeah, I'd like to... I mean, for as long as he's been out, I'd like to see Kennedy walk away with a win. Yeah, you know, I like Sugar, too. Sugar's a great fighter. Um, but I, when was the last time we even saw him fight? Um, Feels like it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since we saw Rashad fight. Bring that up. Or Rumors like, are... I actually thought that, that Rashad went over to Bellator. That's how long it's been since I can remember him that fighting. That was Davis. I know that, No, I know Davis did. But that's how it's been so long since I feel like I've seen Rashad fight that I thought he went over to Bellator, honestly. Why would you confuse those two fighters? That's just mean. Mm -hmm. uh, last just fight that he had is when he lost. And explosive speed. <laughs> <laughs> in April was last he's, time we he's saw him. He lost two in a row to Bader and to Glover yeah. to Sheriff. Last time we saw him was April. It's just mean, man. <laughs> why, Joey? Why? Why, why Joey? Why? Uh, rumor <laughs> has it that Bellator is trying to get a fight with Fedor and Matt Meathead Mitrione. I would love to watch that. Uh, I don't know, man. It just seems very odd. They're talking about early 2017. We're talking about uh, January. I've never been on the Fedor wagon, but I would love to see him knock the shit out of me dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, why? It, just, it would make me happy. <clears throat> I, I, the way they've both been fighting, I don't think either one's going to knock the shit out of either one of them. I just think it would be a long... Just, I like that Shane Carwood went me, to Ryzen. Let me dream. Let me dream. With, I know. with the hopes that he was going to fight Fedor, and they're like, no, 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 you're in the tournament, he's just over here. Right. You're on the same card as him. Does that count? That, well, that's, yeah. what, that's what Ryzen Brief does. Briefcase of money. Yeah. Oh, you don't care? Cool. He's taking the escalator. You've got to climb those steps. <laughs> yeah. No, they're going to they're gonna fucking Barnett Carwood. He's never going to fight Fedor. <laughs> they're going to put him in the room of mirrors? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to pick the right one. He just starts punching through glass. So then we go on to our fights coming up. Is this, uh, what is this? T this tomorrow. is. Oh, Ultimate Fight Night 98 going down tomorrow. Do you want to do that or do you want to do Bellator tonight? We'll do Bellator tonight first. Well, we got the Ultimate Fighter happened this week as well. Finally, it was back on TV. I missed it. Um, I didn't miss it, but I didn't watch it, if that makes sense. So you watched it on replay? No, no, no. I watched it. I watched it pretty much. He was off to the side while he was touching himself on his computer. That's normal. That's, normal. That's how he normally watches <laughs> watch his fights. This is this usual. That's how it gets done. Anyway, you had uh, Kai Car France go up against Alexandro uh, Pintoja. Pintoja gets the win. Um, that see, I can't remember. Did this one end? Didn't end in a submission. Went to decision, right? Yep, went to unanimous decision. So this is the first decision that we've had on the entire season of the Ultimate Fighter. Yep, it was teammate versus teammate. Uh, so you had their coach wasn't really throwing out anything for for either one of them. No advice during it, but it went to unanimous decision in round two with uh, Alexandre Pintoja moving on to your semis. Next is going to be what? Uh, Bane Lugwood came to train, or came to train the fighters. That's right, he did. Yeah, How he was that? Uh, it was it was interesting. I mean, you, you, these guys they all have their own coaches and they have their own style. Like it's you can tell it's fun for them when they get the guest coaches in there because they get to meet these guys and stuff. Mm -hmm. But really, what's Bane going to do in an afternoon with these guys when they've been? Yeah, they might point out something. You never know. 
Sure, but then it's a different look. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, absolutely. To get a new coach is like you get a whole other look on your on your fighting style. But if it's like you're not spinning your wrist enough, the idea that you're actually going to learn how to spin your wrist properly by the time you got to fight on the other right. fighter, I can understand that. Steven Skull talked to Anderson Silva, one ten time. minutes. Yeah, and he, that hey, kick. Hey, you should throw that kick that I taught you, you that one time. Kick. That crane kick. It was ten minutes. You seen Karate Kid? Yeah, yeah. I invented that kick. I want you to throw that kick. You win. <laughs> you win. And, and now he's a Russian citizen. What? Really? Anderson yeah. Silva? No, not Anderson no. Silva. <laughs> Steven Seagal. What? He's the fucking traitor. Yeah, he's a Russian citizen. Yeah. Putin granted him citizenship as of yesterday, I believe. Because he couldn't get the Russian bride sent to him, so he, oh, he, had, to go pick up. he had to go move in with her. Shipping was too much. Allegedly. There's a, there's a fighter from the U.S. that just got Russian citizenship, too. Well, Jeff Monson's done it a long time ago. Yeah, Monson. Is that the guy who I'm thinking? Yeah, probably. probably. He's like hella promoting Russia. Oh, that's Monson. Yeah, oh, okay. he's been an, he's been an anarchist, and then he yeah. was a communist for a long time. Yeah. He's yeah. a he's a weird bird. He is a definitely strange strange man, but apparently amazing grappler. Yeah, fantastic <laughs> grappler. He's like a five foot four heavyweight though. Yeah, crazy people are good fighters. Herschel five Walker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so jumping onto the the Bellator that's going down tonight. Let's just do the main card here. With, uh, you want to go into like all those uh, no. preliminary cards that you're only going to see on Spike.com? No. <laughs> no, you can go to Spike.com and watch them yourself, though. And then you can watch Sergey uh, Kanatonov go up against Javi or Javi Ayala. That's kicking off your, your main event there. It's a heavyweight fight. And then you got a catch weight at 175 with Neiman Gracie going up against Rudy Bears. And uh, Brennan Ward taking on Saad Awad at welterweight. And then Liam McGreary taking on Phil Davis. For the light heavyweight championship. For the belt. McGreary, if you aren't following Bellator, is the champion right now. Yeah. How do you think Davis is going to do in this matchup? I think he'll do pretty well. I think he'll do all right. Yeah. Because uh, I'm pretty McG- McGreary's got him by uh, reach and height, right? Yep. I think, but Phil Davis is a phenomenal wrestler. And he's got the, he's got the weird submissions, like the Wonder Bar. So, Wonder Bar. Wunderbar. I'm, I'll, I'll pick Davis in this fight. I'm going to go with McGreary. He's just strong, man. I, I would hope that McGreary pulls it off because I'm, I'm waiting for Bellator to have one of their people actually maintain the belt instead, <laughs> to ha- instead of these people that come from the UFC come over and just take shit away from them. Except for Benson. He didn't get the belt. Well, yeah, I know. And Tito. That don't didn't count. Get the belt. That was some shit, though. Benson, I don't understand what happened. But there. Tito still got the best attendance <laughs> out of any Bellator fighter. <laughs> Kicking off your uh, your your fight pass card for tomorrow night UFC ninety UFN ninety eight. You got Enrique Barzola going up against Chris Avila, Marco Polo Reyes versus Jason Marco Polo Reyes. Marco Reyes. And, uh, Chris is out of the uh, out of the uh, two hundred nine boys, right? I think Avila? so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Jason Novelli. Uh, is taking on Marco Polo if you can find him. Sam Alvey is going up against it's Alex. It's easy. You just How? say Marco. <laughs> Polo. Polo. Damn uh-huh. it. How many times has Sam fought this year? A lot. And he's also on Reddit quite a bit in the uh, in the MMA forum. And apparently, just last night, Sam was in the hot tub, wherever they're at, at the hotel or some shit. And, uh, and so was his opponent, Alex. So this will be his fifth fight since June. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. So his, him, him and his opponent were both in the hot tub together last night, just bullshitting, even though they got to fight each other tomorrow. Yeah. Just hanging out, just talking stuff. He said, he said that wasn't awkward. What was awkward was that Mike Platinum, was it, what's his last name? You know who Platinum is? Mike Platinum Perry, is it? Uh, possibly, yeah. I don't was, was also there and uh, was just staring him down the entire time while he's having a conversation with Alex. <laughs> he's like, it's just fucking weird, man. Like, I'm having a conversation with this dude, and then there's Mike Platinum sitting over there just staring at me, just mad dogging me. It's like, I don't think he mm-hmm. likes me. I don't know why. Maybe he's upset that uh, he didn't get to be in the hot tub alone with him. <laughs> that could be it. You ruined it. our hot tub time, I Sam. Wanted, I yeah. wanted Alex, Sam. Give Look him into that, me. TMZ. Look into <laughs> that. Who's the guy who said, yeah, you thought it was over, boy? That guy where the quotes go all viral now. <laughs> what do I feel like nobody knows what I'm talking about? It's a thing. I, I don't know. It's a I thing. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out of the preliminary card on Fox Sports 1 now with Henry Briones going up against Douglas Silva de Andre, Andrande, sorry, and then uh, Eric Montano going up against Max Griffin. Marco Beltran going up against Joe Soto and Eric Perez going up against Felipe Arantes. Yeah, uh, we know we walk, we rock, walkie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Kevin. Love you, Kevin. Jumping on to your main card here. <laughs> we have uh, Alexa, Alexa Grasso going up against Heather Joe Clark. The blender is back. The blender is back. <laughs> I always go against the blender. Yeah, you got to root against the blender. I forget man. for a second. Why, and then I'm like, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> if I could just have one back, one thing on the show. 
I have to have my blender. Remember, I mean, my vitamin. dad's going to buy it. It was a Vitamix, wasn't it? Yeah. Like a legit. It's like a $7,000 blender. <laughs> and, Dude, and seriously. every time we talk about it, Joey's, it was a legit blender, so it's though. Fucking, legit blender. It was it's like legit. a fucking car payment, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, no shit. My girlfriend, we went to Costco. She's like, I want to get a Vitamix. I'm like, going to use it? I mean, I don't care. If you're buying it, it's yours. But like, really, you're going to use it? Yeah, yeah I'm going to make all kinds of smoothies and stuff. I'm like, oh, I like smoothies. Cool. Motherfucker has not been out of the box. <laughs> it's steel. It's not sealed because you want to take it out and look at it. Put it right back in the box. It's behind the couch. has a layer of dust on it. Maybe it's too complicated to use. It's yeah. a fucking blender. <laughs> you put the lid on it. You press the bzzz Are button. you sure? Because there's multiple buttons on there, sir. <laughs> on the Vitamix? I think it's just one fucking blend. Just a <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We have not the had a recipe, single... The recipes are too complicated. Like, I, yeah, I tell you right now, my house is smoothie-less. <laughs> it has been smoothie-less since this has been purchased. I was promised smoothies. Hey, after this, I can tell you another less than how smoothie tonight. You know what likely. the selling point for me was? The motherfucker said you could make ice cream in it. Huh. Have so you made ice cream? cream? And have you made mm-hmm. any ice cream? No, we have not. I don't think I'm allowed to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, and after this conversation, you will not be allowed to touch it. Anything. You Anything. should move <laughs> it. You should just move it. Just, just scoot it a little bit. No, like put it on behind the different couch well, i'm afraid because then you're gonna see how clean it is underneath the box compared to the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the floor that it's sitting on you know what i should oh you know what i should do is i should leave the box there but empty the contents yes and then i can just hide the contents in various places around the house oh and then ask her to make one and go you know, i sold it six months ago <laughs> you never even noticed you, you know you always complain about the kids not playing with their toys Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, I need I need a new flashlight. <laughs> I'll be on the couch. Thank yeah, you. Because I totally played with my toys. <laughs> <laughs> Benil Darius is going up against Rashid Magomedov. Uh, then you got Martin Bravo taking on Claudio Puelas. Ricardo Lamas going up against Dubrox in, at a catch weight of 155. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, it's a catch weight, but can't we just be like, and now a lightweight bout? Now it's a lightweight bout. <laughs> But is Ricardo Lamas going to be able to like get up that high since he he made the 145? I'm sure he's going to hydrate up as much as he can. I'm sure he's going to be fine. It'll be interesting to see if they're he different. He don't care. He's making 20% more no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> True. And then Diego Sanchez is back once again. Going up against Marcin Held. Marcin Held said uh, he wanted to break Diego Sanchez's leg. So Diego Sanchez well, said, well, I'm going to have to break his face first then. I, and then did you see the like the face he made? It was like I it know he's scary. He always does creepy faces, but this one was like off the chart scary. <laughs> Diego Sanchez is like like your friend's weird little brother that you have to let play with you, otherwise mom gets pissed. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you want to you want to go over Kevin's house. It's like hey, I'm gonna go play with Kevin, and then Kevin's little brother fucking Timmy's like, can I play too? And mom's like, you better take Timmy. I'm like fuck Timmy, he's creepy. <laughs> That's what Diego Sanchez is in the UFC. Yeah, and you get outside and Timmy pulls a switch blade. You're like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy. He starts but sticking G.I. Joe's up his ass. It's Timmy. Wait, what? I don't know. Timmy was weird, man. Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy. Uh, so, Diego Sanchez or Marcin Held? Uh, I'll go Diego on this one. Really? I never yeah. I never. I never really root for him, so I figure, why not? I'm not going to. We'll what try. the fuck is that? What? Dodge? <laughs> Dodge? What are you looking at these days, Dodge? <laughs> that is literally a banana hammock. <laughs> It is. It's Rose's wholesale. Why, why are we so fucking at I can't stop staring at it. Go back to the fights. Go, go back to the fights. I can't, I can't look away. It's like a train wreck. Hey, what, we're staring at, <laughs> what we're staring at is a banana a bikini hammock with a banana in it. Mm, it's stuffed. It is, yeah. Not to the brim or anything. It's warm in that room. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Conor McGregor at one of his weigh-ins, apparently. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm gonna root against uh, Diego on this one though. Gonna root against him? Yeah. All right, dude. I just go back to the page with the, the girl who had the really hot butt, and that was what? great. Yeah. That was the same page. That was not the same page as the girl with the really hot butt. It's the same page, just further down the list. She go, does, go she does this, like Harry Kane. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, hey! Did you, did you see, see that banana penis? hammock? Cubs win! <laughs> Cubs win! <laughs> Looked like he was smuggling something. <laughs> A banana could have been an illegal immigrant. I don't know. Oh, sh- <laughs> is Harry <Carrie> racist? <laughs> he is. No, I was just saying it was big. Oh. <laughs> Athletic and explosive. <laughs> All right. Rafael Dos Anjos is going to get Tony Ferguson on this one. That's your main event. Your main event. So are we going with two chains? So this is the tough Latin America finale. Yes. All right. Who do, who's competing from Tough Latin America? The, all, just all the names that we don't know? Uh, probably. Got I it. Okay. Watched either one. All right. So you got Ferguson or you got uh, two years? Two hands? Two chains? 
Tony Ferguson. <laughs> I'm taking El Kukui. Are El you taking Kukui. wing? You taking the winged man? Yep. I'm. Go, I'm good with two chains. I go two chains on this one. I'm taking Dos Anjos. Two yep. more hands. I think, two and I, this is how I think it's going to go. I think he's going to kick the shit out of him, and then when he, and then when Ferguson starts thinking about his legs, he's going. I think we're going to see a knockout. Okay, that works. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down with the Dos Anjos in this fight. That goes down tomorrow night, by the way. Bellator is tonight. Make sure you check them out because they're free cards uh, for both of them. Pay-per-view 205 in New York is next week. We'll go over that when we get there. Again, big thanks to our sponsors, MyMMANews.com, StrongBoardBalance.com. Change the way you work out. Get on board, Strong Board. I think that's it. From the Rulot Family Inc. Studios, it is Bueller and Dodge saying have a good night, and we'll see you at the fights. His vibrator's going off. <laughs> <laughs> I think serious. Wait, we're not done yet. Well, hold on. It smile, let, just smile. smile. That's just smiling. It won't let us clock out. I want to sit on your phone when it goes off next time. <laughs> See, we're not. It won't let us clock out. I think ah! it's awesome.